boy! <laughs> Good boy! not want to go potty right now he's so tired he just woke up from a little nap and he just wants to cuddle and not go in the grass and do his business huh good morning <laughs> we have been having so much fun the last couple of days of his first few days home with a new puppy trying to not use my baby voice and he's trying to not eat my hair apparently trying to not use my baby voice with him is really hard harder than I thought <laughs> But he has been adjusting so well to being home, especially in our crazy household. He's been adjusting so well with the kids, with the cats, with potty training, with everything. He's just a smart boy, just like Bobo was. It's actually just the two of us right now because Justin took the kids to their little VBS thing and then he's going to work for a little bit. <laughs> he's chewing on the tripod. Um, and he is just here alone with me and the cat. The cat's right there probably staring at us mad, which is probably honestly nice. He gets a little break from the kids and we're just gonna chill and work on some sit and paw and extra extra potty training. He's honestly been doing pretty good. I don't remember much about when Bo was a puppy honestly. It was so long ago. I don't remember how long it was till he was like completely potty trained but we have been working really hard on it and he had no accidents through the night last night which is awesome. <laughs> He's just being so cute right now just laying here on his back huh. Who's a good pepper? I did also order those little bells that you put on the back door so that they can ring them when they need to go potty because I did that with Bo and we used them for years until he would just like let us know when he'd go potty he didn't need them anymore. He would just jump on us and tell us or just run to the door and sit at the door. <laughs> He's playing with the cat through the door. So I ordered more of those, they're like $5 on Amazon. They'll probably get here on Friday. So I'm hoping that that helps with the potty training. And then the only other thing I think I wanna do is get like an actual leash um, for when we go because our backyard is just big and he gets distracted obviously super easily and I don't want him wandering off anyways. So I need to get a leash because I think that will help him kind of focus on going potty when we're going outside and not getting distracted and playing and all of that and I don't want him wandering too far. We see the vet next week. Good boy! <laughs> Good boy! Okay, now a little pregnancy update because I haven't talked about it since I posted a video. I think it was last week or even longer ago. I am officially 37 weeks as of yesterday, which means I am full term, which basically means baby could come at any time now, but I don't think she's gonna be coming yet. I haven't had like consistent contractions or any signs of going into labor, so I'm not thinking she's gonna come anytime soon. <laughs> I will 
say though, I feel huge. And I did finally make a decision on what I'm going to do as far as baby girl because she is still breech as of when I went to my appointment yesterday. They are gonna be checking every week up until like she's born because they just wanna make sure before I have to do something I don't need to do, which is I decided on just going through with another C-section. It's something I really didn't want to do, mostly just because of the recovery and how hard the recovery was on me. Also, I didn't share this, but one of the worst parts of the C-section for me was the anesthetic always makes me so nauseous and I, you have to go in there alone. Your spouse can't join you until you're like prepped and ready like the baby's about to come out. And with the boys, when I went in there by myself, I got super nauseous and you're laying on your back and you can't feel anything from like about here down. I think maybe I could feel my fingers and arms a tiny bit towards the end, but you're, I was literally like throwing up and I'm laying on my back and it just, it sounds really weird, but I got very, it's just uncomfortable and it's a feeling that I did not want to go through again because you feel like you're gonna like choke, honestly. It was not, it was not fun. So that part of it was not fun. The recovery was the absolute worst part. And this time I know I'm gonna have more kids to be taking care of. I mean, I have Justin, but it's just gonna be harder physically. But at the same time, I really didn't feel comfortable going through with the ECV, even though we had planned on it for a long time because of just the risks. And it's just something that I didn't wanna do. And obviously there's risks with the C-section as well, but I felt more comfortable with that. And having gone through through that I know what to expect and I talked to a lot of people who did go through the ECV and they regretted it and so I just think that I I don't know. It just seemed like the better choice for now. And I know some people might disagree, but for me, that felt like the best choice. So pretty soon here, I'm going to get a phone call from the doctor's office and they're going to give me a date for my C-section. I don't know when it's gonna be yet, but I know it's gonna be probably coming up very soon in the next few weeks, which seems crazy. I feel like these nine months went by so quick, especially the last couple of weeks. But she's gonna be here basically in the next couple of weeks. Unless I go into labor early. I did that with the boys. I went into labor before my actual C-section date and so they just moved it up like I think it was like four days prior to my actual C-section date And if that happens again, then obviously they'll just take me back and do it right then and there But I don't feel like I'm going to with the twins Obviously a lot of people go into labor early. I was 36 weeks when I went into labor But with this baby I haven't felt like I'm going to go into labor early at least not yet contractions haven't been consistent I haven't felt much pressure anything that like I felt with the boys has not happened yet So I have a feeling I'll make it to my C-section date, which is good because baby girls measuring on the smaller side compared to most of my other pregnancies and I want her to gain a bit of weight before she comes out. And look who's finally tired. He's been playing, playing, playing for like two hours straight without laying down and I've been waiting for him to get tired and he's finally tired. He just went potty so he should nap. Pretty good. I just remembered but something I promised Emma that I would do today while she was at her little VBS thing was the kids and I tie-dyed t-shirts yesterday and they were sitting out overnight in these little plastic bags and I told her they should be ready by the time I pick her up. So I better hurry up and get these in the washer. I have no idea how these are gonna turn out because the kids kind of just doused them in dye. So we'll see. I also didn't even have rubber bands. I used hair ties. We did two shirts for each of the kids and the boys kind of just didn't really get it. So Emma helped them with theirs, but We'll see. I didn't read the instructions correctly either. Apparently you were supposed to do this with a damp t-shirt and we did them with regular t-shirts. So I have no idea what to expect from these. I'm just hoping they kind of turn out. Here's one of the boys though that came out cute. Oh my gosh, I hope they all look good after they get washed. I think you're just supposed to rinse them all out and then throw them in the washing machine. Okay, here's the last couple that we did. They actually came out much cuter than I thought they would because the kids used so much dye in them. They actually came out so cute. I got this little tie-dye kit at Five Below. It was like $5. This one definitely didn't get much because Emma doused it in pink and purple, but they came out so cute. So I'm gonna wash them, throw them in the dryer, and hopefully they'll be done by the time the kids get back. <laughs> Okay, while well, I'm waiting for the shirts to get washed and dried and I have a couple hours to myself before I have to go pick up the boys from the VBS so they can come home for a nap, I'm gonna rest because this only happens every once in a blue moon. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll talk to you again soon. Pepper is, where is he? He's like right there. I don't know if you can see his paw, but he's napping right behind this chair <laughs> and I don't wanna wake him up. So thank you guys. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.